Hello to you all and welcome to another video and today is going to be uh, my Sea View Life Adventures episode 3 and it's going to be two videos in one basically. Um, I'm having a hard time editing it because I didn't know where to start so I, it's best if I do an introduction to the video and it'll help set it up. So we've had a really mixed bag of weather over the last couple of days here in southern Ontario. Um, we went from snow to warm weather in literally 24-36 hours and uh, I rode in it basically and uh, so that's where the video is going so we're going to start the video on Friday Friday late afternoon down in Port Coburn and then when we after showing you that little bit we'll then skip to Sunday because Saturday I went out didn't video because it, it was too rough and I didn't spend much time out then on Sunday I was out again and I was out with another Sea-Doo rider with a very similar model to mine and he's actually the person who gave me the idea to get this particular model and any of you who follow this, uh, the Sea-Doo videos on YouTube You'll know this person. Uh, I'll be riding with Mark Forrest. So uh, more about that very, very shortly. So anyway, that's it all set. Oh, by the way, I got my first scratches as well on my sea -Doo. And uh, yeah, my own fault. I'm learning, I'm learning. Uh, I have to sort the garage out at some point. It's still a mess. Got my stuff hanging up here, my wetsuit. Oh, and this came in handy the other day. This is my uh, Helly Hansen coveralls I was wearing and uh, very, very warm and very waterproof. Love them, absolutely love them. So anyway, let's get the uh, video rolling. Uh, we're gonna start on the Friday and then we'll move to the Sunday. So uh, enjoy. It's freezing, it's pouring it down. It's only four degrees and I swear to God, I saw a snowflake falling as I drove here. But uh, Andrew's dragging me out in the rain because we've got to get to see uh, sea dews out. So here goes. All right, we're ready to venture out. That Muppet behind me has dragged me out today. So, uh, full wetsuit, a dry top on top of that. We're in a different life vest today. And, uh, of course, for safety reasons, we've got the radio and uh, a few other gadgets. Hard to believe uh, just a few days ago, four days ago, it was 30 degrees. Sheesh! <laughs> and now we're off into the freezing cold yonder. <laughs> I'll go get my gloves, get my hat on. I look like a right Muppet. Oh my God. All right, here we go. Look at it, so cheated out today. <laughs> I need a helmet. This thing is smushing my nose. <laughs> if this gets too wet, I do have a ball. I have a wetsuit hat to put on, which I should have done really. So anyway, uh, this is Port Colburn, and we're just heading out of Sugarloaf uh, Marina, and we're going to head out onto the lake a little bit. We just had a bit of a storm here today. Uh, we had a sea. That's why the water levels are really low around here. So we're going to venture out, and hopefully tomorrow the weather will get warmer. Andrew found a little tunnel here, so he insisted we go and explore it, uh, but sadly we couldn't go all the way through it because uh, we didn't have a light, but we tried it anyway. I'm in. I'm in. Nice. Ha ha ha! I'm going to take a slow. I'll let you lead us when you're done right here. Holy shit, alright. Night feet. Careful, go real slow, but go real slow. Need a flashlight. 
Okay, you good? Wow. Okay, gotta do that again with uh, lights for sure. Yeah, that's cool. One thing I'm starting to get good at now is my control skills of uh, stopping, reversing, and slowly going forward. And uh, doing this pretty well in this lock right here. Look at that. <laughs> Went a bit too fast for that one. Try again. See that? Look at that, the old uh, lock mechanism there. That's cool. That was cool, really cool. I plan on coming back to Port Coburn uh, pretty soon to do another video in better weather and a more detailed exploration of the area. Scrapyard. Uh, a lot of ships come down here to be scrapped. Uh, remember the old ship from Toronto, Captain John's? Uh, there was a bit that lying around here. In fact, that might be the top of it right there. <laughs> but that came here and got scrapped a few years ago. This is the uh, Algoma Toronto, uh, which is just up here being scrapped right now. Cool, eh? Pretty cool, right? I think so, anyway. This is more COVID for you on a rainy, cold day. We did it. All right, good morning. Off on another adventure. Sunday morning. Weather's a little bit better today. Uh, though I am still dressed. It is a little chilly. It's like 14 degrees right now. There's no humidity in the air, so it's a little cool when we get going. But if it gets too warm, I can take this off and I'll still be comfortable. I got shorts underneath as well. Anyway, I'm joined today, believe it or not, by uh, someone who I met on YouTube uh, back in the year and it's his videos that really kept me going throughout the winter and it's one of his videos that actually inspired me to get this particular Sea-Doo model. Uh, behind me is uh, Mark Forrest from Forest Sound and we'll catch up with him later on. Uh, we're going to be doing an exploration down the Niagara River later on but first of all he just wants to go up the river here at Chippewa, the Welland River which is where I was the other day and he wants to do some drone footage because uh, there is a ship coming across the canal shortly so we're going to try and capture that. Then I'll do my filming once we get to the other end uh, down in uh, the Niagara River. So anyway, join us on today's video. My name is Nigel. The video, the channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs, and uh, enjoy. doing here mark wants to capture one of the ships coming over which i think is gonna be spectacular uh he's got a drone uh if you want to see any more of his footage i'll put the link to his video channel in uh this video and also in the description but uh we're expecting a ship to come over here very shortly it's about three quarters of a mile downstream we just looked on the map so it is coming up so he's gone over there to set his drone up and he's gonna fly his drone over and get some nice aerial shots of it so uh that'll be kind of cool me i just gotta settle with my uh, gopro footage from here which will look like that. That's me left out of speed up. Yeah. All 
right, carrying on with the adventure. Uh, now we're going to proceed on to uh, the Niagara River and make our way down to Fort Erie from here, Chippewa. Uh, it's about 40 kilometers, I think. Uh, I did it the other day, uh, down one side and up the other, and it's 100 kilometers. Actually, no, it's 100 from Crystal Beach, round trip. So it's probably about 30 kilometers uh, to Fort Erie from here, down the river. So uh, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to explore the Niagara River. past these white buoys uh, we're gonna head over here um, US is where that bridge is and that's Navy Island as well in front of us and we're gonna go down the river on the uh, I think it's the south side I think it's the south side we're going down I don't know that's where we're heading to anyway and we go way down to Fort Erie Play a bit more about it when we get there. Right behind me is the International Railway Bridge which spans between Fort Erie and uh, Buffalo, New York in the United States. The bridge dates back to I believe 1830, sorry 1873. Um, yeah, a quite remarkable feat of engineering from back in this day. Now take, take into consideration when this was built this river runs approximately about 12 to 14 kilometers an hour, the current, and in the middle it's about 40 feet deep so they had to uh, make this structure you know in, in these conditions of rough water deep water uh, very strong currents but it's an amazing feat of engineering for back in its day so i'll try and find some more information on it when i get home and uh, if i find any more i'll narrate over it but this bridge is fascinating it's just a shame there's a train right now coming over it I found plenty of information on the bridge, so what I've decided to do is do a This Is Niagara video in the near future, uh, just concentrating on the bridge itself. It's a very fascinating piece of history, and I want to uh, do it justice by doing a really good video on it. So that's what we'll do. So we will uh, revisit this uh, location in the very near future. Stay tuned. Now, I don't know if you noticed back there, it, I believe this bridge uh, at one point did uh, rotate. So it is a rotating bridge. I thought I read there was two rotating parts on this, but I only see one. So it's a rotating, it's a swing bridge basically. 
So uh, yeah, amazing bridge, amazing. So yeah, we're in a really strong current right now. I'm going backwards still. <laughs> yeah, and it's really deep. behind me is uh, what would have been Waverley Beach and the amusement uh, park and the ballroom stuff like that a very historical part of Fort Erie again uh, gone though uh, but back in the 90, uh, late nine, uh, sorry, late 1800s early 1900s this would have been packed uh, a, a ferry would have come over from Buffalo got quite somewhere around about here and uh, yeah there's, a, there's a, a roller coaster back there uh, a ballroom uh, a big pavilion like open swimming pool um, Lido, is that what they call it? I think it's a Lido they call it So that's exactly what I've been there Choppy out here. Uh, the boat, the guy in the boat's having a hard time getting back. Uh, we're the only ones left out there right now. But yeah, this is uh, Crystal Beach. After a quick coffee, it was off on to our last stop, Point Abino Lighthouse. Point Abino Lighthouse, uh, built in 1917. Uh, standing here, 
we've stood many and many a storm and still here. Uh, I would walk up to it, but it's a little tougher than normal here. Uh, I walked up to it the other day, maybe I'll use some of that footage from the other day. This time we did it on the uh, sea dew. We managed to uh, make our way right in. Very shallow, it's about three feet most of the way. Crystal clear, so we could actually find a little channel to get us to here. There's some rocks right behind my sea dew right now. Uh, but as you can tell, I'm just above my knees. We got it anchored in. We have to make sure we go back out that way. But we're now at the lighthouse. Now, Mark is behind me. He's gonna launch his drone, get some nice footage. So if you wanna see the drone footage of the uh, lighthouse, I'll put a link to Mark's YouTube channel. Make sure you check it out. I'll put a link in for that particular video. Um, you'll enjoy it, it'll be a good view. It's only two feet deep and you gotta watch out for the big rocks. So you can't really come here when it's too choppy. Look at that big rocks just there. I don't wanna go too close to them. Only some just way out here. So I just gotta navigate myself out of this little channel and then I'll be okay to proceed back onto the lake, head back down the Niagara River and head back to Chippewa. fish down there. there we All right, we're out of it. Uh, the winds are still blowing, so it's a little choppy. So it looks like it's gonna be a wet ride back to Chippewa for sure. Uh, the wind in our, in our direction. But once we get onto the Niagara River, the flow of the river should help uh, speed us along a lot quicker. Uh, the Skylon Tower 
just down there. Sorry, Scan Tower right there. The Casino Tower right down there. The food building for Sheraton. The one on the right, that's Niagara, New York. And that's it. That has been a fantastic adventure today, the Niagara River. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I'll say goodbye to you in a minute when I get to the other end. Uh, so let's just make our way to Chippewa. And now we're back on the Chippewa River. It's always hard to try to uh, do it in my left hand. All right, Mark has been telling me a few tricks because you know, he has the same model as me, but a couple of years older. So he's actually taught me a few tricks. And now I figured out how to use cruise control. So I can actually film with his hand rather than hold with his hand all the time. So now, thanks to him, I've now set up a new thing so I can cru I've set up for cruising at three kilometers an hour. So I'm hands free and I have to keep pressing the throttle. Much nicer. See, you learn something new every day. That was a good day, six hours. Started at 9.30 and it's now 3.30 in the afternoon. So uh, yeah, we did pretty good there. A big thank you to Mark for joining me today on this adventure. It was a great company. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed the chats we had. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't capture any of the chats on video. And uh, so uh, yeah, basically I'll just keep them to myself and uh, maybe next time I'll actually chat to Mark directly on camera. Uh, but overall, a uh, very good ride, learned a lot of stuff from Mark. So uh, once again, Mark, thanks for coming out today and uh, joining me on the trip down the Niagara River.